Hi guys, Mitch here with AmericanLawns.com. Today we're going to talk about patio furniture and why it shocks you sometimes. Let's check it out. So why does your patio furniture shock you? It can depend on quite a few things, but let's start by going over some basic principles of static electricity. Everything is made up of atoms, which contain protons, electrons, and neutrons. These three components of an atom have charges, so all things are made up of charges. Most of the time, positive and negative charges are balanced within an object, but static electricity occurs when there's an imbalance between positive and negative charges in an object. The charges build up on the surface of an object until they find a circuit to be discharged. Wicker chairs and sectionals are excellent outdoor furniture, but are often accused of being easily statically charged. Wicker, or rattan, simply refers to a weaving process and can be made of any material but be weaved using the wicker method. Moisture can lead to mildew, so you may want to wipe your furniture down after it rains or gets wet. If you tend to have a lot of static buildup from your wicker furniture, you may want to check what material it's made of. Outdoor decks are excellent for many homes, creating a beautiful outdoor living space, but this material is an insulating material, and insulating materials easily hold a static charge. And if you live in a dry climate, it's especially easy for a static charge to build on your composite deck. Now let's talk about how to get rid of static electricity. The electrical charges that build up on the surface of different materials and objects, including furniture results in sparks or shocks and static cling. There are various ways to deal with static electricity. If you live in a dry climate, it's more likely that your furniture will experience static electricity. You can try using a mixture of water and vinegar to spray down your patio furniture to get rid of static electricity. You can also try rubbing your furniture with fabric softener or dryer sheet, or you can spray your furniture with an anti-static product. If you decide to use an anti-static spray on your outdoor furniture, ensure that you buy and use one made for outdoor use. The weather can quickly wear down sprays and liquid. If you decide to make your own, you can keep it in a spray bottle and use it as needed. One spray you can mix includes two tablespoons of liquid fabric softener and one cup of water. If you buy a fabric softener, you can find one that helps fight against static cling. When you're ready to use the spray you create, make sure you shake the bottle before spraying it. You can spray a light mist on your furniture or on a cloth that you can use to wipe down your patio furniture. Another way you can fight static electricity is by using rubber. If you believe that your patio furniture easily conducts electricity, you can try putting rubber feet on your furniture. You can also separate your furniture from your patio with a rubber mat or a rug. There are plenty of outdoor rubber mat options that you'll find at your local box store. Your fashion sense may be another reason why your patio furniture is shocking you. Fabrics made up of synthetic fibers like polyester and nylon conduct static electricity very well. Materials made up of more natural fibers like cotton don't accumulate as much static electricity. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and be sure to check out AmericanLawns.com.